It's a pretty fun game, uh, even for people who've played uh, WoW for a long time. It's, again, one of those things where it feels familiar, but it's unique enough to be different. Out of the way. So one thing about me and Valnet is we love to just kill things off of kill things in our way. Yeah. We don't take the time to sneak around. Although my character does get stealth. <laughs> Did that dude just throw a knife at my girl? <laughs> I think so. Oh that's why he's dead. I love being a bounty hunter. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so yeah, this will be our new series, guys. I mean, we're just going to be leveling our um, characters here. And... Basically, it's just going to be more for fun. We'll throw some educational stuff uh, in regards to lore and everything every once in a while. But mostly, it's just going to be more of me and Valnet just playing through. Enjoying these uh, two um, characters and showing you kind of what the game has to offer. Yeah, at least for the leveling portion. Once we get to 50, we'll show you other stuff. Um, like, we plan to do war zones, we plan to um, try to do some high end stuff. So, it'll, it'll all be there. Yep. It's, it's a pretty fun game, uh, even for people who've played uh, WoW for a long time. It's, again, one of those things where. It feels familiar, but it's unique enough to be different. And you know, Agreed. there's there's you know the standard, oh, go kill ten of these, or go pick up five of these things, which is in every MMO. So can't really blame them for that. But it definitely adds a little bit more with the storytelling. Yep. Oh, actually, those gloves are better than what I got. <laughs> well, I'm leaving this planet soon because it looks like that, uh, if I remember correctly, that should be close, and I think Valnet should be getting close as well. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna fly back to the palace. Yep. I got yeah to the Nimrod's palace. <clears throat> We just came from Fox. We are not responsible for missed departures. There are others waiting. Okay, Mr. Robot. And the one thing I do like about um, Star Wars The Old Republic is the amount of detailing they put in for um, the environment alone is fantastic. Yeah, I've got the graphics on medium and low right now, but it still looks pretty good. You know, there's still grass popping up out of the ground. It's not just flat with a, a texture that goes from dirt to grass to dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have everything on high and it just looks fantastic. Even the sky, like looking up in the sky, is like the detailing is just fantastic. Oh, and just a little backstory on uh, the reason why my character is named Omegatron. He is a cyborg. And I just was was watching Transformers when I was making the character, so <laughs> it was a little inspired. <laughs> Needless to say. I'm going to go train since uh, we both just hit level 11. Yep, I got a conversation for us if you want to hollow call in. Okay. So this is a uh, quest turn in. Oh, okay. So even if you're not physically there, there's hollow projectors in Star Wars, so you can be there when you're not there. As long as one of your party members is. Yep. It's very convenient. Then you don't have to sit there and wait for them to walk to you. Well, 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 look who's here. You're the one that saved my body. This guy Arden. wore his goggles way too long in the sun. Without you, that may yeah, still be hanging dead. in Father's trophy room. He thought he was just he's dirty. He's got a few scrapes, but he, he's doing pretty well. It's all about oh, the money. I'm not able to pick anything because I'm too far away and I'm just looking at this through holocall. The reward sounded good. 
Well, I appreciate it. You still get the Here's social points, though, right? I'll tell you what. Regardless, yes. I just don't get back, the pick. We'll buy you a drink. Mm -hmm. All right, that's something I didn't know. So if you're not physically there, you can't really talk. Yeah, sometimes you can't. No, yeah, that was quite a bit of experience there. All right, I just got gloves for my companion. Oh, um, what gloves did I just pick up? Uh, okay. So since we are level 10 and higher, once we get off of Huda, we'll be able to pick our advanced class, either the operative or sniper for me, and I'm going to pick operative. And or the power tech or mercenary for me, and I'm going power tech. Right. Trust no one. And the other thing I do like um, that WoW doesn't have is the fact that we have a um, character specific or class specific um, heal or regeneration. Yeah, every character has one. You just, so, it's instead of carrying around food and sitting down and healing. It's just you activate the ability out of combat, and you heal. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is we have unique, um, I guess, power pools, if you would like to call it that. Resource, resources? Well, for you, it's a resource. For me, it's more of just like uh, danger. Because <laughs> uh, a bounty hunter, a lot of our gear generates a lot of heat. We don't want to overheat. Because the gear will fry, and so will we. So we have to vent away heat. Yeah. So if you use too many abilities too fast, you get stuck and you can't use an ability. But we get a nice little ability called Vent Heat. It has a two-minute cooldown, but it takes away 50 percent or 50 of the heat already. 50 percent of it. So it's it's one of the greater things, although it's got a two-minute cooldown. Yeah, I eventually get one that's the exact opposite. It's, oh, you have tactical advantage buff from fighting? Alright, activate this, and now you get extra resources ah, to your pool so that you can spend them. This thing scares me, the little Rancor egg. Take it before it hatches. Oh, <laughs> my companion didn't like that. Oh, did you see it crack? No. This is so exciting. Hey, this will make the big guy plenty happy, which makes me happy, so I can make you happy. Here's your pay. A pizza pie, mama me. I'm from Amadi about this. <laughs> it's what he sounds like. Yeah. You need anything else? Oh, thank you. This is gonna make for one very happy hat. All right. I just want more jobs so I can get paid. Quite a bit of lag right now. I'm running video capture, I'm running parallels, and I'm running a taxing game. Yeah, you're doing fantastic though. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, you're fine. <laughs> uh, just gotta go slow. Alright, I gotta go gotta talk to... Slow. We'll, we'll do your mission first. Right. We'll do your mission first. I don't mind. Imperial Asian phase. Ona Red Velvet. The inspiration for um, Falonet's name actually came from like, well, he was gonna make his character an operative, and I was like, well, we should make it something like James Bondish, you know? Yeah, and then the description of the class has said, oh yeah, they use sleeping darts, so that that two name combination was like a code name and it's fit the operative type of character yeah oh, guess I should have clicked earlier how can you be level one and be an elite that's amazing <laughs> hello Toplishan the red blade claims to have something to show you when you're that pro you're that pro bro <laughs> he works for the hut it's nominal uh, da, 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 for credit, sure. You better be paying well, Tothlogen. I All went right. through a lot to Sticking get this points. disc. 
It's nice that some of the characters talk in uh, foreign languages, but uh, it definitely makes you pay attention to the subtitles. Uh, I want to realize that uh, if you look at any of the huts, especially at that angle that you just see there, doesn't it look like just a little bit bigger of a version of Slimer? <laughs> especially at a holocron version of it? <laughs> If some of you don't know who Slimer is, he's the ghost from Ghostbusters. If you don't know what Ghostbusters is, Shame I feel you. sad for you. <laughs> you have been sheltered way too much in your life. Okay, so the story is they're giving us money. Quit talking so much. Long story short, we need money. Yeah. Or we're getting money. Revenge to plot Don Fothra. Alright, leave me alone. 2,500 experience points. Nice. Right. Okay, I got affection points now. 74. You have 74. How much do I got with mine? Let me see. Oh, 42. Nice. Alright, where's yours? Over here. Hello, Dancer. Oh, yeah. You can walk inside of a Hello, Dancer. Right, flirt with the receptionist and then walk in. <laughs> you can only do that once. <laughs> Curses. Every uh, every time after that, it's like a bit busy here, hun. That's all she ever says. Spectator mode. Let me stand next to the slave girls. <laughs> That's where it put me. When I saw this dude's face, I really thought of uh, the general from uh, Star Wars 2, episode 2. Which guy's face? Uh, this dude with the skull. When the oh, General Grievous. Yeah. Okay, it hadn't loaded for me yet. I see we have a new player in the game. Oh, dang. That's the bone mask creep that followed me. Get him. Oh, boy. All right. Blasters have been drawn. Oh damn, it's really laggy now. I'm sorry. Hunter, it's not even enjoyable. Allow me to for apologize me. if I spook your young friend. Calm down a sec. Let's see what's what. <laughs> and then the hut's all silvery. I regret that I startled you, young woman. I was pursuing another quarry when we crossed paths. I am Grata. It is my honor to represent the Great Hunt. I have been investigating possible malfeasance by one Taro Blood. He slaughtered my crew to keep me out of the Great Hunt. Yes, I am aware. I regret that I arrived too late to intervene. What are your choices? I reviewed your security holo recording and witnessed the murder of your teammates. Well, the other choice was so great. While dishonorable, the attack wasn't technically against the rules. Unless Taro attacks another competitor, yeah, I can punish. Nothing will stop me from getting revenge. As you wish, but know that Taro is protected by this competition's rules, the same as you. I shall continue to closely monitor Taro Hunt's Blood's over. activities. Yep. If he breaks the great and Hunt's he's rules, all mine. he will pay for it. I have remained here to give the Trandoshan Rosk instructions for the Great Hunt. It seems this is no longer necessary. Whatever you were going to tell Rask, you can tell me instead. Ooh. As you say. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Indeed. Yeah. You have proven yourself worthy of the Great Hunt. But the competition is only beginning. From here, forest. you must go to Drummond Kos, the Imperial <laughs> Capital. These are your shuttle passes. I wish Braden could see this. At least now we can make his killer pay. 
one thousand dollars. I'm gonna pick you bet he will. Your blood will get what's coming to her. Oh, yeah. That's a promise. You're the best. Make her happy. Ready to arrive on Drummond Koss. I always Seek make the, the ladies Meister happy. The Mandalorian Enclave. <laughs> he will answer all your questions about the great. I give as good as I get. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> hey -o. I assume we'll see you later. You may count on it, Hunter. Hunter. I don't have enough time to like read you the choices without the timer going off. That's alright. Maybe just the one that you picked. Be quiet. I'm just gonna tell him to shut up. Good hunting. <laughs> Ooh. You get something? Shuttle passes. A blaster. Modification for that blaster. And new appearance for my girl. Nice. I have one quest, one more quest to do. I gotta talk to my handler.